everyone. Today I am going to be reviewing a game called Scrabble Ipswich. This game came out in 1983 and it is for two to four players. Now I did not realize that there are a bunch of different vintage Scrabble variants out there. Uh, this happens to be one of them. There's another one called Scrabble Up that was made in the 80s. There's a Scrabble Sentence Cube game that's been around. And another one called Scrabble RSVP, which is a vertical version of Scrabble. There's a lot of them out there. Anyway, this happens to be one of them. Uh, the object of this game is you're going to be trying to score the most amount of points using these crossword boards over here. Um, there's five rounds of play and there's a unique scoring system on this game and if you like crossword puzzles or crossword games with word games this might be a game you want to check out. Anyway, let me show you how it works. Okay everybody, as always I'm going to go ahead and show you the components real quick. Uh, these here are your Scrabble Ipswich boards. Um, there is one of these boards that's a master board and that's the one up there and then you have your regular boards. The deal with the master board is the person who has it is going to be able to uh, draw their tiles first and also discard any tiles that they need to. And again, there are four of these boards. Um, you have a bunch of these tiles over here in this bag and these are nice tiles. They're uh, black with the white lettering and they're made of wood. There's a bunch of these out there. Right here is your score pad. And as you can see, you're going to be playing five rounds. And uh, in case there is a tie, you're going to have a playoff over here. Now basically the way scoring works in this game, as you can tell, there are basically four different lines here on this board. There's also some diamonds that have some numbers on them and some circled numbers as well. What the diamond with the numbers represent is you will get bonus points if you manage to uh, spell a word that has this amount of letters in it. If you were to spell a word vertically over here um, and it was 9 points, you would get a bonus 10 points. If it was 11, you would get a bonus 15 points. Um, now, this right here is another way you can score. If you can manage to fill all of these squares with letters, you will get a bonus 25 points. Um, same goes with this. If you have seven letters here, it's, you'll get a bonus two, nine here. You'll get 12 points, etc. You will start on the start space in the horizontal line in the middle. In order to use the other lines, you will have to be able to intersect a letter with a word in the other lines. Now basically what's going to happen in the first round is everybody is going to draw 14 tiles. So I'll go ahead and draw my 14 tiles. So I've gone ahead and I've drawn my 14 tiles. And um, the person who has the uh, master board is going to go ahead and discard and draw the tiles first. Now once you get uh, the tiles, you're going to have one minute to go ahead and discard half the amount of tiles that uh, you are going to be playing with. So in this case, you will be able to discard seven tiles and draw seven more. However, if you do that, you're going to incur a two-point penalty for each tile that you discard. So let's say I decide I'm not going to go ahead and discard any tiles. Okay, so now once everybody has done their tile trade, uh, everyone is going to get ten minutes to go ahead and um, spell out the word. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do what I can with these, and I'll show you how I scored it. Okay, so uh, at the end of the 10 minutes, or however much time you want to do, this is what I managed to come up with. I don't get any penalties for not using any of these letters. Um, so I did not score any bonus points. I almost got to this point right here with the seven letters, but I didn't get anything as far as that goes. So basically, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. And again, I'm not going to get the 10-point bonus because I did not use the nine letters. Um, Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, when you get up here, if you're managed to get letters over here and here, you will actually be able to spell two words. Like you do a three-letter word here and then a three-letter word here. And that's the only time you're going to be able to do that. So anyway, what's going to happen is in the next round, you're going to draw two more tiles. And then you're going to choose four of these tiles to keep for yourself for the next round. So let's say I keep the S, the S, the T, and the E. And then my opponent will do the same thing, and then I will switch. Uh, I will switch over with him. And now these are the letters, and these letters are going to be the ones that I'm going to have to use. So now in the next round, um, we're going to draw another two, and we will have 16 tiles. So I'll do another round with the 16 tiles here. I'll draw two more, and so will my opponent. And then once again, we will go ahead and go. So once again, I'll try to see what I can do with these, and then we'll talk a little more. Okay, so this is what I managed to uh, get with this particular round over here. So in this particular round, I was actually able to get to this plus two over here, so I'm going to get a bonus two points. And uh, those are going to be the only bonus points that I'm going to get. So in this round, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 points. And then I will go ahead and put that in the score sheet. And so basically what's going to happen after this is we're going to switch boards again. We're going to keep four letters that we want, uh, draw two more. At the third round, we will draw 18 tiles. The fourth will have 20. The fifth, we will have 22. And then there'll be a playoff in case there is a tie. And uh, whoever has the most amount of points at the end of the game is going to win. So my thoughts on Scrabble if switch. Well, if you like word games, you really can't go wrong with this one. Um, this game is uh, a rather challenging, fun little game, and you're trying to build little words with the tiles that you have. And there actually is a little bit of strategy in this game. As you know, you are able to keep four tiles, and a lot of times a good strategy would be to keep things that can make uh, suffixes like ing or ers. And also, um, if you end up having to use an x or a q, you can slide that over to your opponent and give that for them to have to work with. Um, you really can't go wrong with this game. Um, this is just a good little word game if you like word games. Um, if you enjoy games like Scrabble and games like that, I think this is a game that you would enjoy. Um, I would uh, recommend it to anybody who likes word games. Uh, I just want to say also a special thank you to all my subscribers and uh, the ones that have uh, left me requests as far as game reviews. And just all your supportive comments. Thank you all so very much. I really enjoy doing this for you. Anyway, that is my review for today. I hope you all have a great day. We'll see you soon.